What is up everyone, my name is Vlad the Crypto Trader, part of the Bean Pen Tribe and recently I've done a video on dollar cost averaging which you can check it out right here and to put it in short for you in case you haven't seen that video dollar cost averaging is just investing little by little, bit by bit into something that you see increasing uh, over time in value so in my case that's Bitcoin so every month I sit down in front of this laptop and I buy 100 euros worth of Bitcoin but what if I would like to do something extra with my time and just automate this process and recently I've been lucky enough to be approached by Delta Badger and their team and this is exactly what they're trying to do they're just trying to automate this dollar cost averaging process for you and me in a way that we want of course so today we're going to review this app or website whatever you want to call it and see how fast can we set it up how you know easy the process actually is and by the end of this video we're going to do a short review looking at the pros and cons of this entire process so i hope you definitely stick around to find out what's next So here we are on the website, of course the link is provided in the description down below and as we have covered the goal of this application slash website is to automate this dollar cost averaging of Bitcoin. So as we can see here and it's changing, so we can buy Bitcoin on a monthly basis, weekly basis, daily and even goes down to hourly which is quite cool. What I find most impressive about it is that is this uh, five minute setup because in crypto things things are so early days that a lot of these setting up processes they take a lot of time so they're very time consuming so let it let us see if that's actually the case if it's actually a five minute setup and of course let's start by logging in i have created an account uh, with delta badger, badger so that's that's a process that you would need to go through yourself as well it only takes a couple of minutes and as we can see here, they currently offer dollar, this dollar cost averaging option on three exchanges. So that's Binance, BitPay and Kraken. And I imagine they're very sim similar in their setup process. But in my scenario, I have an account on Binance, which is one of the biggest exchanges. And so let's click on that. And so this is how you set up the dollar cost averaging bot, essentially, from my understanding. So first thing, let's log into our Binance account, which I have done previously. Uh, we're going to use this tab to actually set up the whole process. And on this tab, we can see that I have deposited around 100 euros um, right now in dollars right here. So $120 gets converted into this much of euros. So this is what we currently have. And let's see if it changes over time. So step number two, in the user menu, round icon in the top right corner, go to API management. So the round corner is, uh, corner, corner, more like icon. It's this one. So API management, name the new API key by pressing create. So let's go with Delta. All right, let's go with Delta Badger and click on create. And now here are all the security verifications. So Binance will also send us a code. And this Google verification code is comes from my phone. So So we got a new one. So let's see about that. Let's see if this one works. <laughs> That's a bit strange. And let's submit. All right. So we have here. Uh, hopefully this process this won't happen to you because this is a bit strange. Um, so all right. Confirm. Make sure that enable spot and margin trading is checked. So it is checked right here. But uh, let's see. So now we can edit it and now if you want to restrict access to the key only for delta badger click edit added restrictions check restri restrict act access to trusted apis only so this is this is their api and this is the api we want to trust so that we don't want other apis accessing uh, our bot 
or you know our account through this uh, through this API API that we API yeah API that we're creating so press save and confirm so again let's see check out our phone and that's my Google verification so there we go we have created the API Remember that the secret key is visible only during the creation, so make sure you copy both keys before leaving the view. But as for the, as this scenario is only for this video, of course, I'm gonna delete the API key at a later stage and paste both keys into the inputs above. So this is the API key, here we are, and the secret key. So, Again, for my scenario, it's not relevant for me to keep these keys, but I'll, if I were you, I would keep them, uh, especially the secret key in a safe place. So, but then let's click click next. And then, so I wanna buy, indeed I wanna buy Bitcoin for, let's put $10. And indeed hourly, hourly is my best scenario right now. And let's click start. All right. So from my understanding, it ha already has bought, indeed, so it already bought. So let's see, we had $120, right? And we, in, now that we refresh the page, we should have 100, 100, wow. So it bought, uh, so it bought for two hours, <laughs> enough Bitcoin for two hours. All right, um, but it, indeed, total invested, so $20. That must be it's because it's the, the first time. So it sets up for two hours. But I'll definitely leave this run because, I mean, I don't need to do anything anymore, right? So it'll just do everything for me until it runs out of funds, I assume. So this looks really good. I, I like this overview that you kind of have how much you've bought at the our average price. That's kind of the goal of dollar cost averaging. So you then you are looking at the average price at which you bought over the long term as it rises in value. Current profit and loss, well, that's not really relevant right now as we just bought. And uh, I think that's it. So the log, all right. So that's the timing and info, all right. So this looks really cool. I really like it. Um, yeah, from my understanding, as long as you have enough funds, this will keep running. Of course, you don't have to set it up for the hour like I've done. You can set it up for the day, for the week. I personally actually have been doing it monthly, uh, but I have been doing this process manually. So I really think that I'm going to leave this running and maybe on a monthly basis, maybe I can even set it up on a daily or weekly basis. So that was indeed super quick, relatively simple. And in case you have any pending questions, uh, I would reach out to Jan. Kozlowski, uh, he reached out to me. He was super helpful with all the questions that I had and I'm pretty sure that he would be more than happy to get in touch with you. Also, a link to his Twitter account down in the description below. So that was the process. As you saw, it was super quick, relatively simple and straightforward, except for that thing that happened with my email. But anyways, I hope that doesn't happen to you. And I'm super happy because I think that's kind of the benefit of something like this. So. You know, you can set it up once and spend the time once, but then you don't need to worry about it. It's just running in the background and you can do whatever else you want to do with your time. I think that's really cool. So in case you're interested in using their service, definitely check it out. It's completely free from for an amount below $500 per year. So in case you're looking to invest more than that per year, you do need to purchase uh, their invest investor option, which is $50 per year, if I'm not mistaken which of course depends if you value such a service at that price or not. If I were you, I'll definitely try out the free version, see how you feel about it, and then consider uh, getting the investor option in case you want a dollar cost average bigger amounts uh, into Bitcoin in the future. So that was it for this video. Again, if you have any questions, definitely reach out to Jan. I think he'll be more than happy to get in touch with you. And as always, thank you very much if you made it this far into the video. I hope you took some value from it and I hope to see you the next time around. Take care.